Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video of string art, we are going to see how to create the basic card art shape and using that how to create this beautiful five petal rosette mandala. So guys, let's get started. For base materials, I'm utilizing a 50 cm diameter circular MDF hardboard and on that I have arranged 144 nails in a circular fashion. So for this kind of design, you need a circular arrangement of nails and the more number of nails you can accommodate on the hardboard, the more detailed the end design would be. To create the string art, I am utilizing a weight 80 regular polyester sewing thread. The thinner the thread, the more uh, intricate the end design would look like. The thicker the thread, the more bulky the end design would look like. So choose the thickness of the thread carefully. It also depends upon how big board you have if you have a very very large board then you can use a thick thread also so for this design there is a mathematical pattern that you need to follow and it's very simple and it's very easy to follow so we'll start with the nail number one as you can see that i'm tying the thread on the nail number one and from there we are going to start our design now every time we loop the thread between two nails there will be a starting nail and there will be an end nail the formula for this design is very simple. The starting nail will progress 1, 1, 1. So we'll start with nail number 1, then it will be nail number 2, nail number 3, nail number 4 and so on. And the end nail will always be multiple of 2 of the starting nail. So if we are starting at nail number 1, the thread will be looped with nail number 2. Then we will move to nail number 2 and the thread will be looped with nail number 4. Then between 3 and 6, 4 and 8, 5 and 10 and so on. So that's how the looping will work. So carefully see how I am doing the looping. So what we are doing essentially is creating straight lines with the help of the thread between two nails and the starting point of the line is always progressing by one and the end point is always twice of the starting line. So suppose we are creating a thread between nail number 12 and nail number 24. So the next line will be created between nail number 13 and nail number 26 that is twice of 13 and this pattern will follow and if you will keep following this pattern then slowly and slowly the cardioid shape will start emerging and this is the mathematical you know uh, easy mathematical formula for creating the cardioid shape with the help of string. So as you keep looping the thread, the design will start to emerge and you'll also notice that there is a pattern in which you are moving. You are increasing the starting point of the line by 1 and you are increasing the end point of the line by 2. It's quite simple because the end point is twice the multiple of the starting point so it will keep increasing by 2. The reason I'm telling you this is because there will be a point when you will reach nail number 144 that is the last nail on your board but when you will reach nail number 144 you will see that you will only have completed half of your cardioid shape the rest half is still pending so you do not stop at nail number 144 what you do is that you keep following the pattern of shifting the nails and start all over again from nail number one and keep following the pattern till the entire cardioid shape is formed How will you know that you have completed the cardioid shape is quite simple. As you keep looping the nail, you will come across a point where your end nail has caught up with the starting nail and both the end nail and the starting nail are exactly the same nail. At that point, your design is complete and you have finished one cardioid shape. Now to achieve the rosette pattern that you saw at the beginning of the video, we need to create multiple cardioid shapes intersecting with each other. Since we have a five petal rosette mandala 
so basically we need to identify five nails on this circular arrangement of nails these five nails should be equidistant to each other so we started with the nail number one to create our first cardioid shape then according to the total number of nails that are on the board we will move to nail number 29 which will be the next nail from which we will start the new cardioid shape then the nail number 58 nail number 86 nail number 115 so for five petal you need to create four cardioid shapes and when they will intersect they will create the rosette five petal mandala pattern As you create the second cardioid with the new starting point of nail number 29 you will see that a petal shape is formed when it intersects with the previous cardioid shape that you have made and similarly when you will create the rest of the cardioid shapes the more petals will get formed so this is how the rosette pattern is formed now if you have not selected the nails equidistant from each other then the size of the petals will vary so it's important that the nails that you select divide the entire 360 degree angle into equal parts that is 72 degrees each since we are making a five petal rosette mandala in case you want to increase the number of petals that you want let's say you want 12 petals or you want 15 petals then all you need to do is find those many number of nails equidistant from each other in case of 12 petals the dividing angle will be 30 degrees each so that will be in my case since we have 144 nails so the starting point for th for the second cardioid will be nail number 15 instead of nail number 29 so that's a basic math that you will need to perform in order to increase the total number of petals in your final mandala so here i'm almost finished with the last cardioid and you can see the last petal shape forming which will complete my entire design if you want to challenge yourself then you can build a design with more petals and uh, see how the end result is so guys i hope this simple tutorial on string guard basics on how to create the basic cardioid shape and then utilize it to create a simple but beautiful mandala has been useful for you if you guys like the video and found it useful please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends also do subscribe to my channel for regular videos on different forms of arts and i will see you guys very soon in my next video till then stay safe take care and bye bye